You hear that? I have a pet train that goes by my house, and it's going by my house right now. Uh, anyway, let's play some Sengoku Rants, guys and gals. I mean, 30 of you watch this, so one of you are probably female, I'm guessing. Oh, here we go. Um, still fighting Hojo. As you know, oh, I also realized, is it, is it common courtesy, is it normal to introduce myself and every video that I do? Because I haven't done that for any of them. So if that's bad, oh my god, that's a lot of errors. That's like 45 errors. So I guess I'll release, oh, Soma Hayate is here. What a douchebag, I hate that guy. I should probably release like a video introducing myself. So I don't know. That seems like it would be appropriate. I might do that, you know. I I, I will do that sometime soon. Um. Anyway, back to the actual play here. Oh, uh, just defending against the Tenshi sex. There's not actually much to talk about. Um. Soma Hayate blew his commander charge immediately. Uh, the guard Shiki ate the actual charge and the damage Katsui absorbed. So that's how that goes. Real easy. Yeah, in the last video as well for uh, Dosan Chan. I have pronounced it covert action. My and like I found rants almost exactly a year ago today. Uh, well, some Goku rants, and I've always called it covert action. So I don't know what that tells you about me, but it's just been that way forever. <laughs> I don't know. I do that a lot, probably. Um. Oh well. Who gives a shit? You know. You know what it does, and apparently. I was reading some website today, some some website, and there's some weird monk skill I've never heard of before. I'm gonna have to look it up. It could be cool, it might be not real. <laughs> there are internet trolls, as you know. Whatever. Um, I know a lot about this game, I know how to get things done, and I'm still learning about some things in this game, however. Uh, yeah. But I know, I know the majority of things, so I think I'm in the right place to do a Let's Play about it. Hopefully I've been helpful to you so far, and I'm definitely going to be helpful to you as it continues. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah. Monks beating the shit out of monks feels good. You know, these monks, historically, they didn't run into combat unarmed. I'm quite positive about that. They wouldn't get very far. Uh, doesn't really matter how skilled you are with a, uh, with your fists, the sword's gonna cut you down because your fists are flesh. So, just putting that out there. Though in games all the time, not just in Goku Rants, many games will portray monks as fighting with their fists. Um, especially the Japanese kind. But I mean, European monks and shit fought with their hands in a lot of historical fiction as well. You know. Which is a cool idea, but it was not real. Because it would have got owned. This is a scene here of my least favorite Mori... Well, it was a very short scene of my least favorite Mori sister. And the most difficult one to get a character clear for. It's not really hard. It's If you go into the game having no idea how to get her character clear, it's damn hard to figure out. You wouldn't be able to do that on your own. Uh, I'm pretty positive about that. But it's not hard, it's just kind of tricky. Kind of tricky. Um, yeah, the other two sisters have pretty easy character clears. Fairly obvious ones. Well, maybe one of them isn't so obvious. Chinu, the Miku, Miko, dies all the time, so her character clear may not even seem possible, actually. Um, we'll go over that, too. I've gone over her fate. Haven't I? Maybe I have. I don't know. Shit. Oh my god. What is this? It's happening! I don't want this! I don't want Misty to join my- Misty. Kasumi, the next canon- and yeah, I skipped a little bit of text there, it doesn't matter. She's just- it's just Maria introducing the next canon unit. And... I don't want it. I don't like it. See, Maria and Isoroku, and there are probably a few other units in the game that I can't think of it right now, but anyway, they give you units. They give you uh, free, 
for units. Like, Isoroku gives you two archers that suck. Maria gives you another cannon unit, another tulip unit, and she's not as good as Maria. She's a cannon unit, so she's a good unit, but I don't like it. I don't like having her. I, I like having Maria, you know? I'll send Maria in. Kasumi is the name of the next unit. It has... It. <laughs> she has a unique face. She has a unique icon. Um, she doesn't have any scenes. She doesn't have a character clear, you know? Nothing like that. Um, but she is... She's a cannon unit. There she is. Um, Kasumi. I think she looks a lot better than Maria. I don't like Maria look-wise too much. But, uh, you can see Kasumi there. She's got the same secondary stats as Maria, I think. Or, or damn close. Really high construction. And that's why I'll keep her. Uh, normally you don't like that. Just wastes your national power. Just eats it all, and I don't like it. That's why I don't like it. Because she just consumes all that national power, and it's a pain. I don't need to scout. Let's just go in like this. Be brazen. Take Kento. Take Maria. Take... Ganko? No, Maria's not going. Suzume's going instead of Kento as well. Look at that. Um... Kenshin? No. Renmaru can go. Renmaru is good for this. Ah! Well, it's not a very hard fight. It's... Maybe I should have brought Maria to deal with Daidoji, but I didn't. So this and Yamamoto sweeping fire is gonna be shit, because look at the troop division. Oh my god. Rance, you just... God damn it. Okay, just stand there. I don't want to risk that for... Renmaru can go. She's got an attack boost. That's good enough for me. That's a good enough trade-off for me. Um, I was going to do that with Rance, though. So. Yeah, and I like how when Daidoji uses her... Um, uh, not commander charge. Her shouting charge. She just goes, ooh, whoa, whoa. Like, what is that? She's not intimidating. She's a little girl. That's not scary. She couldn't be intimidating on the battlefield. Well, maybe. Maybe she has a really womanly voice, though I doubt that. Oh my god, that's right. gunka has got this shitty buff. Thank you. Thank you for the intellect boost on Rance. That is so good. <laughs> that's so good. Alright, I guess we'll just kill the monk and be done with it. Just kill the monk, kill Ran, maybe kill Ran. I don't know if that's gonna work out. Ah, <sighs> yeesh. Putting guard shikis up like no tomorrow. I, I gotta do this. I gotta do it. Waste Rance's commander charge. Or his Rance attack, I suppose. If you had it your way. Um... <laughs> I can't assassinate either of these guys, I don't think. Suzume's just not cut out for the job. So I'll try and pick them off. Renmaru can finish the monk. Well, I mean, Suzume could assassinate the monk, but he obviously he has a small troop size, so I'm not going to assassinate him. I'm going to try to assassinate Renmaru Daidoji, because the troop sizes are huge, but I can't assassinate them! The dilemma. And Katz survives. I wish he would have just used Shouting Charge right away, so I didn't have to deal with that. Oh, at least she didn't put the guard Shiki on herself, you know? Saving, maybe saving me? Oh my god. Ah ha ha. Suzume comes through for me. And I captured Ran. There you go. That will be why I don't restart the part, because I skipped that bit of text at the beginning of Maria's thing, even though it's really unimportant. Um, but yeah. Then, to tone it down, we have this scene here. And it's sad, because, you know, they play that music that's like, hey, let me poke your heart. And you're like, okay, I have a heart. This is a sad scene. Or you're like, I don't have a heart. I'm a belligerent asshole. This isn't sad. This is stupid. I hate this game. You know? You're the same douchebag who isn't scared of scary movies and scary games because you're just sitting there with your higher aura. This isn't scary. I'm awesome. Which is cool. Sometimes. But not when you're watching a scary movie. Because you're watching a scary movie to be scared. You're playing this game to like it. <laughs> I don't know. The sad scene is here for you to be sad. If you don't want to be sad, you won't be sad. You know? It's like that way with all forms of entertainment. Pretty much. So. Yeah. Well, you're not going to be sad with me talking. 
I'm... I'm much too, uh... Charismatic right now, right? Is that the word? That's the word. And we'll fight again here at Hojo. Um, I'll recruit Ron after I take this castle. It's not really a castle, it's a... Love shack. Whatever the hell. Oh, sorry, Mayda, you gotta sit out, because Senhime's gotta fight or she's gonna leave my army. Ugh. God damn it. I hate her so much. And the worst part, the worst part about it, when she leaves your army, she doesn't even join another army. You can't even kill her like you want to, you know? She's just away. I hate that so much. Oh, I'm so mad. You don't even know. Oh, so, yeah, watch him do it. Watch him. Oh, God. See, him putting up a guard shaking on me is probably the best thing he can do. Because Son summoning hits Kenshin. She's dead. That sucks. Kind of an important character. Kind of needed for endgame combat. Having her killed by Son in one attack really is not cool. But, I mean, he's so strong. That's scary as hell. One, like... Diviners are scary anyway, and Son has massive stats, and that Son summoning skill, which you're gonna see real shortly, I'm sure of it, it's just, oh my god. Uh, that would take out tanks in real life, you know? And it's just paper people, as far as I know. But it would destroy tanks. Yes, it would. And I don't think Yokai Ward is buffed when uh, Aberoko has the attack bonus, so it was unintelligent for me to use it. Yo, Kai Ward, I might assist something else. Whatever. Whatever. Um, and Son's attack there. Oh my god! <laughs> it's not penalized much for that damage that he took. And mind you, Senime has the intelligence boost, which probably saved her ass. Just saying. That's a scary skill. Scary. But you've seen it now, and I can stop hyping it up. Hopefully it was worth it. I didn't one-shot anyone, though. Which was intended. I didn't want anyone to get one shot. I totally intended to give Senime that intelligence boost. That's what I was going for when I sent out I, right? That's what I had in mind the whole time. So I didn't care about these other stats. I, I just wanted that intellect boost on Senime. Yup. And there she goes. And Son lives, because his defense is really high. <laughs> um, no commander charge. I've become more mindful of the commander charges, and I've been executing them more. Well, I may not have, but I will be. So, yeah. And then we've got a scene here, probably another princess. Oh my god, it is. That's, well, thank goodness. Skip that. Plus three satisfaction. Righto. And here's another scene with Son, and uh, that, that woman, his nurse mother thing. I don't think it's his real mom. I don't know. His real mom's probably dead. And now he's got to go deal with some ogres or some other bullshit. You know, being the Hojo guy, he's got to deal with all the ogres, all the other ungrateful clans. He goes out there, fucks up all the ogres, and gets no payment, is barely revered, gets his girlfriend captured by Oda. You know, no one respects him. He's way cool, and... Whatever. Oh, it's this asshole again. This is this is this one ogre with a unique <laughs> unique sprite. Or that's not that's not a sprite. A CG sitting there with a giant spike through his tendon. Somehow his arm still moves. I don't know. I don't know how it works, but he's scared of Son. And that's why Son is cool. I mean look at Son. When you see his face again, he does not even have legs on his glasses to hold him to his face. Those glasses stick to Son's face through his own, like, magnitude. He's so amazing, the glasses just sit there. They're not gonna... They're a part of him. They're probably not even glasses. It's just a... It's like a piece of his body. You know? He's a cool guy. And so, all this fighting's going on. Minamoto summon well he doesn't summon them per se. He just punches a hole in the wall and a bunch of ogres come out of there. Um and Son eventually seals the whole cave with himself and Minamoto inside. That's what he's going for here. Um he's kinda 
reckless because I'm sure he just wants to end his own life or be in a bad situation because Rand's gone. So, yeah. Um, and this is kind of where uh, some serious shit triggers.